people, however, the scariest thing is yet to come. Hey guys, it's Eric from Hong Kong based in Germany. I've been fasting since I was 17 years old for almost 20 years. I want to give you guys alternative perspective about investment related to Asia. Today, I'm going to talk about the crash of Chinese technology stocks, especially triggered by DD. Is it time to buy them now? There has been a big sell-off of Chinese technology stocks in the past few days. From Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, to Bilibili, JD.com. For DD itself, it has dropped more than 33% in just a few days after its IPO on the 30th of June. So what exactly happened? Tanjun, one of the biggest recruitment platform in China, and Full Truck Alliance, a truck hailing company, basically Uber for trucks in China. They've both recently been listed in the US, and they both see their share price plummet as high as 25% from its height. So what actually happened? Is it only about DD, or it has broader implications to all Chinese companies listed in the US? I've made a number of videos on the related topics, so remember to subscribe now. Even better to click the bell button next to the subscribe button so that you're not going to miss out. Okay, so what actually happened? Five days only after Didi's IPO, regulators ordered to have their app removed from the app stores in China. Why? For violation of data collection and use of personal information. This sent a shockwave to the stock market so right after the Independence Day holiday, when the market opened, DD fell almost 25% just in one day. Share prices of Chinese technology companies also went down a lot as well, ranging from Alibaba, Tencent, to Bilibili and JD.com. Why? Because this is a clear signal from the regulators that this is just the start, not the end. And then they did not stop there. On the 7th of July, 22 technology companies in China, including Alibaba, were being fined for unfair market practices. And then the day right after, five government agencies issue the new rules on fair market practices. And I expect more is coming right after this video. Okay then, so what are the implications of this kind of events to Didi and also other Chinese companies' stock prices? For Didi, the removal of the apps from the App Store is an obvious damage to their growth, which is the most important story to justify their high valuation despite not making money. On the other hand, current customers probably would be wary of using the app because of data privacy concern. In both cases, this would harm their revenue growth. For me, this is a golden opportunity for short-term speculation. Why? First of all, even though the app is being removed from the app stores, there are still literally hundreds of millions of users and tens of millions of users on the platform. They are still there and they are still going to generate revenue for them. On the other hand, you need to understand that DD and other companies will follow whatever the government tells them to do in order to make sure there's no data breach. So this is not a problem at all. Let alone that they have 90% of the market share, 9-0, meaning that they are not going to lose the market share overnight. The share price has fallen 33% from its peak already by the time I'm speaking. There's certainly a chance for it to rebound, at least in the short term. Okay, we know the implication for DD itself. So how about to other Chinese technology companies or Chinese companies in general who are listed in the US? The short-term impact is clear. Apart from a sharp drop of share prices, you also see that many Chinese companies that are planning to have an IPO in the US are canceling their plans. For example, Keep, the biggest fitness app in China, which is backed by SoftBank and Tencent, they were planning to raise up to $500 million in the coming days, but now they cancel it. You need to remember that apart from what I've mentioned just now in this video, there were numerous of raids and props by the regulators in China in the past few months. Uh, you can check out my videos in the link above or in the description below. I talk about Alibaba, Baidu and other Chinese companies and the impact of regulations on them. I even made a video about hidden rules of investing in China. 
link is in the link above and also in the description below. So what I want to say is that the regulatory props on Chinese technology companies or even other Chinese companies is not ending anytime soon. But however, the scariest thing is yet to come. There's news from Bloomberg saying that the Chinese government planned to close the loophole on the so-called VIE, Variable Interest Equity Structures. What is it? Basically, it's a way for companies in China to get around the control of the Chinese government on foreign investors investing in Chinese business and on raising capital overseas. Basically, open companies in Cayman Islands or British Virgin Islands. 100 Chinese companies use this kind of structure to raise capital overseas. And they have a combined market capitalization of, guess how much, $4 trillion. And out of that, $700 billion are from American investors. So you can imagine the impact it has if China's government closes the poll. Furthermore, there's increasing tension between the US and China. So it's very likely that China do not want their companies to list in the US, rather to be in Hong Kong, which is under its control. There's also regulatory challenges from the US because they are asking Chinese companies to allow them to audit their accounts. If not, they are not allowed to list in the US, but Chinese government is not allowing it. So there's regulatory challenges, there's political challenges. With this kind of uncertainties, the share price of existing US listed Chinese companies would be lower. Okay, so all this means in the short term, one year, there will be a lot of volatility of Chinese technology companies because of the regulatory props. In the medium term, two to five years, we might see risk of delisting either from Chinese government or from US government of Chinese companies listed in the US. So there will be some turmoil. And in the long term, we're talking about 10 years or 15 years, it might be a good chance to buy a chip now, assuming that they are not going to be delisted. But for now, personally, I'm only going to speculate a small amount of money into DD rebouncing within a short period of time. So what do you think about the crash of Chinese technology companies? Are you going to buy it now cheap? Or are you going to wait and see? Leave me in comments below. If you liked the video, remember to like, share and subscribe. Even better, clicking the bell button next to the subscribe button. It would be a great motivation for me to continue making more and better videos.